Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for this Valentine's Day week. It is the 12th through the 18th, being this is a week of love per se. I decided to choose a couple of love oracle decks. So we're going to get a couple of energies out of these two decks and then we will break into the tarot cards. This is for Capricorn. Ooh, attraction. You, are, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This card states to live in the now, right now, okay? Enjoy these times. Enjoy this week. Enjoy this love. Whatever it is, let's find out. And as you enjoy yourself as you are, you will be more attractive. Okay? Ooh, interesting. Like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Interesting. Like attracts like. So it is. It's about living. It's about living in the now and loving yourself right now. And as you love yourself, you're able to offer love more freely. That's interesting, huh? You can also look at this, you know, like attracts like. That that those words say a lot, okay? Um, you get what you you get what you give. That's basically what it says. You get what you give. If you're if you're really looking for love this week, you need to give it. Yeah, abundantly, okay? Communicate, touch, you know, that whole thing, all of it. Don't be afraid to express your feelings. I feel like those are the bunch. <laughs> new partner, okay? You guys could have a new partnership on the horizon. Something very passionate, exciting. Uh, you know, this card right here is a gift from above, okay? It's a gift for expansion. It's a gift of, of excitement. It's a gift of, uh, you know, growth. Perhaps a new partnership. You know, this is a new uh, sexual partner with a lot of passion, um, but you need to really see the light, okay? I think many of you are coming out of a darkness, coming out of a period of darkness, and I see a lot of excitement here, and you have been attracting it, by the way. All right, no more gonna living, no more staying stuck where you are at, really being open to the possibilities. Um, no more blocking it. I'm not gonna block it anymore. I'm starting to see the light, and it feels like because of that, because you're no longer staying stagnant, you know, things are starting to happen for you very quickly. I think there was a period of, you know, where there wasn't a lot of love. Maybe you weren't accepting love or you weren't giving love. And that's why this card came up. So this is the Four of Cups. When this card comes out, it says that, you know, you have to, either you're not giving love. And, and when you're not giving love, you're not receiving love. So these cards, they're, they're, they really, they are really, you know, alike. Like attracts like. So if you want love, you have to give it. There's definitely a sexual attraction here between you and another person. I just have to throw that out there. There's a need to really do the right thing. Do the right thing at this point for yourself, okay? I feel like there's there could even be a karmic relationship here, you know, where there's something that there's some kind of bond that I feel needs to be de dealt with, <laughs> okay? There is a, uh, you're dealing with somebody that there's a strong, strong connection to, and I feel like it's a karmic connection, but I also feel like there is, it's not a bad one. I don't feel like it's a bad one. I feel like it's time for you to stand up for what you deserve, okay? I think you are ready for this. You deserve it. Um, this right here tells me that 
you may feel like you're being judged. You might feel like you're going to be judged for some reason or you were and you're letting that go because you're letting something go here. It's like you're no longer going to block out something. Maybe you felt like you weren't good enough in the past and now you're letting that feeling go because there's no need to carry those feelings around with you anymore. It's like you're starting, I do see that you're starting to come out of a period of darkness and because of that you're, you're attracting love, which is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So many of you have been, uh, you have a choice. Okay. You have a choice here and it's about the, the choice that you make will bring you some consequences. Do you, do you choose to be in love or do you choose to work? Okay. Cause this is, is, is love or money. That's the, that's basically what this, this card says. And in, in other words, it means a lot, but anyway, I feel like you are being offered this new beginning. This is a new beginning, and it's a very exciting. And there's a potential for a lot of passion, and there's a lot of uh, sexual desires here too. And I feel like you know if this is divinely guided. I do feel like it's divinely guided, and I feel like you know you've waited for this for a long time, and now you have to become clear of what you really want. I mean, what is it? Do you, are you ready for love? Do you want love? Because if you do, you're going to have to offer it. That means you're going to have to give it time. You're going to have to give it energy. And if you do, the potential is huge that it could be, it could blossom into something very passionate and exciting. Um, and it could, it could really be successful because this is the ultimate success card this is the world so there's there's potential for a lot of success here and i think it's something that you have been waiting for let me get this zoomed in a little bit okay Now you have a decision to make, okay? This is a week of making a decision. Do you do you want love or not? That's the question. Because if you want it, you're going to have to give it. And you're that, you know, do you are you ready to give it? Are you ready to hold somebody's hand? Are you ready to be their partner? I mean, that's the question here. Okay? Cuz I think you're being offered a new partnership that could lead to a lot of passion, all right? And the thing is, is, is do you want it or not? Because if you want it, you're going to have to, you know, kissy, kissy, lovey, lovey. I mean, that's what I see. There's a cycle in your life that is ending. And I think it's a cycle uh, where there was a lack of excitement. There was lack of passion. And that cycle is ending. ending. Now there's this this unknown that has become known it's like oh my god finally it's here you know what i mean i feel like this period of imbalance this fear period of loneliness this fear period of not needing to compromise not needing to blend is over now you're going to need to do that you're going to need to probably make some compromises and do some blending you know and really um let go of the old you Okay, you need to you need to not resist this change, and so many of you are. are this is a uh, week of contemplation as well. It's like, am I ready for this? Am I really, really ready? I feel like many of you are starting to have a new outlook, a new perspective, and you're getting ready to let go of the your old ways. Okay, I feel like love is coming in. <laughs> love is coming into your life. Romance is coming in, and now you have to decide: Do you want it? Do I want it? Do I really want this? Is this uh, this offer of love? Is this? Do can I offer it? I see relationship growth here after a period of perhaps avoiding it. Okay, I feel like you guys were perhaps avoiding love for a while, working on yourselves, but now now you've been faced with it, and that is kind of like a disruption. I think that you've been faced with this disruption of love, and it's like, oh my God, how am I going to handle this? You know, I feel like you can't block it anymore. You've tried to block it as much as you can, um, and you may try to still block it, but the thing is, is... It's, I think that many of you, it's, it's time to let the past go. It's time for you to stop being alone. 
Okay, you know what I mean? It feels like you you were going within and you were rejecting love. It's like I wasn't I didn't know what I wanted. I I that was never it. And I feel like now you're being offered offered some kind of love and you're scared. Yeah, you're being called to be objective. Be really, really objective in this situation, okay? Because I think that right now you're feeling like you're shy, feeling there's some shy energy here, feeling like you might not be enough or you might not be good enough or is this, in the past maybe you were dealing with people that were immature and they were instable and they weren't commitment material and now you're being forced with this person that is very like you like attracts like okay so i feel like now you have to really consider what is it what is it what is it do you are you are you because i think during this period of denial or stagnation that you were in or not wanting love or not being in love you you had this independence okay and so this is this right here is financial okay this is um Love or money, basically. Pay, be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. What you own, owns you. So if you choose what is in the cups, basically, in my other decks, then that's what you get. You get the material possessions. Yeah, you got the nice house, you got the nice everything else, but if you choose the cups, you choose love. So this card is about choices, and be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. I feel that you have the opportunity to build a strong foundation with somebody, but it's decision-making time. You may be dealing with another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And I really feel like, you know, it's up to you. Do you want to grow old alone or not? You may be, you also may have this fear of being let down if you offer love. Okay, you may feel like, okay, what if I get into this and I offer my love and they don't and they reject me. But I really feel like this person that you are dealing with has the best of intentions and it could lead to unconditional love. So I would give them a chance. You could, it could even lead to, you know, you guys feeling like celebrating. You may even get engaged. You know, hard work pays off. It might take a little work to open up. Okay, it might. But you have the ability to do that. You do. You do. Even though this is this strength is reversed, you may feel lack of confidence. Okay? Your lack of confidence is impacting this new romance that wants to come into your life. It is. It is. I feel like the future is in your hands and it's up to you. This is what this card means. It's up to you. Do you want to work on love or not? I mean, do you? It's time to let go of the past. It's time to close the door to the old you. Because it's time for an awakening. If Okay, it is. This is the wake-up call. It's time for an awakening. It's like you've, you've uh, reached this um, epiphany. Okay? This epiphany that... This is this is different. This is this is what I want. I'm I'm going to go down a new road now. This is a major awakening, all right? I feel like it's time for you to release the old you, release the past. And this is what this is as well, releasing the past you, okay? Of being alone, of feeling unworthy, of feeling not good enough, of feeling like you're going to get let down, releasing all those emotions, releasing those that anguish, that dis, dis, depression, depressive mood, those depressive feelings. It's about releasing those feelings because this is a release as well with it re reversed. It's releasing those feelings of lack. Okay. And making a decision. Okay. Because this is, this is um, not moving, thinking too much thinking too much you, th you don't think about it just do it it's time for you to take the lead you're the leader okay you're the leader it's time for you to take the lead and be responsible okay stand up for yourself and make this decision okay love or not What's it going to be, Capricorn? You have the potential for a new partner. 
okay, that has the best of intentions. But you have to make a decision. Do you have time for them? Are you ready to offer them love? It feels as though you've had some feuds in the past with other relationships and that's impacting your decision. You know, and it's time to close that door. Those wishes didn't come true for a reason, okay? Because it wasn't love. Now you're robbing yourself from true love by worrying about what happened in the past. It's time to have faith in the future. This lack of faith is impacting your love life. It's time for you to make this conscious change. Okay? I see that you are reluctant. But this is actually going to bring you relief. It's up to you to master your emotions instead of staying stuck. Okay? This right here is lack of mastering emotions. That's what you need to work on, Capricorn, mastering your emotions. It's time for you to replace the fear with faith. Right now, your fears are impacting your love life. That's what I see. I feel like it's, you know, I feel like it's definitely time for you to follow your dreams. Okay, it's time for you to follow your dreams. It's time for you to be confident and have courage and use the force within you to overcome this fear. It could lead to marriage. This is a Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be any sign because they're all here. But this is a Taurus. Anyway, this could lead to marriage. Good. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Let go of the past hurts. Let go of the past rejection. Let go of the past period. You're not that person anymore. Like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Open up if that's what you want. Choose love if that's what you want. So there could be a new partner that has entered your life or is coming into your life. It's in your hands whether you want it or not. You're the boss. You're the boss. Do you want it or not? If you want it, Show some love. Talk to you later.